There's mounting frustration over the government's involvement in the city's only physiotherapy pool, which urgently needs upgrading. The Ministry of Health is stalling the project in case the pool's affected by a bigger Dunedin Hospital upgrade. Otago Therapeutic Pool Trust Secretary Treasurer Neville Martin is here to explain. Good evening Neville. Good evening Rebecca. What are the Trust's plans for upgrading the pool? Well there are a lot of works needed for that physio pool building. Essentially the roof needs repaired, the window frames need repaired, reglazed, the pool needs retiled, there is need for a pool cover to save operating costs for heating, um, there is water, a uh, water treatment facility that needs to be upgraded and we are hoping to install a heat recovery system. Now how much money have you raised for all of those things? Uh, we've raised one million dollars, um, principally through grants from funding organisations. And when was the upgrade supposed to begin? It was supposed to begin at the beginning of this year, um, provided we obtained a long-term lease from the SDHB. So what have they said about the lease at this stage? Well, negotiations haven't concluded on the long-term lease and we understand now that it's the Ministry of Health which is involved in this process, principally because of the hospital redevelopment plan. Mm. So what do they think might happen if they won't give you a lease? Well, we're confident that we will get a lease. It's just a case of the detail of that lease. Okay. Um, it's important for the Trust that it has a long-term lease to justify spending a you know, million dollars on upgrades to the pool. Um, there is no use to the Trust if there's a termination clause in such a lease, mm. as it would undermine the value of it. Mm. Has the Ministry proposed anything at this stage? Well, our communication is principally through the SDHB, and we, we understand that there is talk of um, a, a, a termination clause in such a lease, but that would be of no use to the Trust. Mm. It's important that um, the overall development of the hospital is, is carried through, but um, the Trust would seek an indication or some assurance from the Ministry that um, the pool site would be unaffected. Mm. What is the next step? Well, the, the, the Trust will continue to engage with the STHB about negotiating a long-term lease and obtaining a commitment from the Ministry that the pool site would be unaffected by the redevelopment of the Dunedin Public Hospital. What's your thought on how long things might take to get resolved? Well, we need things to be resolved sooner rather than later. We, we certainly can't wait to mid next year for a decision. So that uh, in the meantime, we, we must engage with the STHB about that process. Otherwise, the infrastructure of that pool will continue to deteriorate. Mm. In the meantime, it's business as usual at the pool? It is. The pool is open to the public every day. Mm -hmm. And it's important that the public gets behind this uh, pool as a community facility by using it and uh, continuing to donate money to cover operating costs. Has the Trust drawn a line in the sand um, in regards to you know, a date where the pool may have to be closed because it becomes unsafe? No, we haven't um, gone down that path. We're confident that uh, the pool is okay at the moment and it will be for, for a period of time, but we're, we're keen to carry out the upgrade and to ensure its safety and longevity. Mm. Is the Ministry and the Health Board uh, forthcoming with uh, information about this? Well, we're engaging with the STHB. We don't engage directly with the Ministry. Mm. Okay. What would you like to see happen now? Ideal world. Well, ideally mm. we need a commitment from the STHB that we have a long-term lease, and, and that would involve probably a commitment from the Ministry that mm. one would be available without a, a termination clause. Otago Therapeutic Pool Trust Secretary Treasurer Neville Martin, good luck with that. We have our fingers crossed with you. Thank Thanks you. very much for coming in. Thanks, Rebecca.